believe God will take care of all this? She said, say it again. Do you believe God will take care of all this? Yes, sir, I believe in you, and I believe in you. Give her a new eardrum, new auditory nerve, now foul deafness, in Christ's name, come. Oh, in Jesus' name, open. Do you hear me now? Yes, I hear you. Yes, I hear you. Come on, shout well, hallelujah. What I wanted, got just what I wanted. I got just what I wanted from the Lord. I got just what I wanted, got just what I wanted. I got just what I wanted. Faith Alive is on the air with evangelist Ted Shuttlesworth from New York City to Los Angeles, from Anchorage, Alaska to Honolulu from British Columbia to the Maritimes and in the great cities of the world, London, Rome, Moscow, and Manila. Brother Shuttlesworth touches millions of lives daily with his message of faith, proclaiming the saving and healing power of Jesus Christ. With over 40 years of dynamic preaching, he is bringing this life-changing gospel into your home. Join with Ted Shuttlesworth and let's believe God for your breakthrough today. That you can't go over. God's got a way that you can't go under. God's got a way you can't go around it. Oh, you must come in at the door. Yeah, I said God's got a way that you can't go over. God's got a way that you can't go under. Got a way and you can't go around it. Oh, you must come in at the door. One more time, God's got a way that you can't go over. God's got a way and you can't go under. God's got a way and you can't go around it. Oh, you must come in at the door. Yeah, you must come in at the door. Hey, I know you must come. Ready? 
Today's message, Miracles in Margate. Stand, please. The Spirit of God's on you. Can you come down here? I just need one of you, but the other can keep standing. She's the one, though. <laughs> when I cross life's fleeting tide and I go to the other side, the Lord will Come up here a little bit. It's all right. Help her up here. Remember me, for I know at his command everything that is within me shall stand, for the Lord will remember me. You believe that? Hey. Do you go here to this church? Yes. This is a great place. Yes. You've been asking the Lord to help you in a situation with relationship and some things you're dealing with. Isn't that right? As you came into this month, you thought, I thought God would take care of it last month. But it seemed like things got worse and didn't get better for you. Isn't that right? Then, if that weren't enough, you begin to experience some problems in your body. And you didn't feel right. True? Tonight, the Lord's going to touch you. You believe that with me? In your head, look at me. We'll pray in a minute. In your head, there was like a pressure you began to feel. And then your body didn't feel right. And so you thought, I just need to rest. I don't know how you thought it exactly, but I knew you felt like, what can I do to make myself feel better? True? True. You even uh, laid aside and put aside some time to fast and seek God. And it was hard for you to fast. But you said, I'm going to try to get through this, Lord. Amen? Amen. One of the organs of your body is not working right. And the Lord's going to heal it tonight. You believe that with me? Amen. I believe that you have some knowledge of it. But this pain back there in that part of your back, God's going to heal it tonight. Amen. You had a spell, not that you have blood pressure problems but your blood pressure did get high and after that you begin to experience pain in the kidneys here isn't that right yes and then the other day a sharp pain hit you that it almost took the wind out of you you had to sit down I'm going to ask God to heal both kidneys tonight for by the vision I see the hand of the Lord reach into your body and take out what I call a spirit of infirmity I command it to come out. I put it under my feet in the name of the Lord Jesus. Now, as to the situation, I don't, I don't personally believe I have power over other people's will, but I'm going to pray the Lord will make it as possible for you to see healing in your relationship and home and family. Is that all right? Yes. The other night, you felt prompted to get out of bed and get down and pray by your bed. You just felt the spirit of prayer come on you. True. And 
one of the things that you had on was sort of a pinkish color. I can see, of course, women wear that, but in your case, that's true. And I, I wasn't there, but I can see it in the spirit. Amen. And let me make that very, very clear. Glory. Glory. And while you were praying, this attack came on your body. And you thought, well, I'll get back in bed and lay down. Yes. The Lord heals the kidney now. Make sure whole. Now, everybody sees you're a young girl, but one of your knees needs to be touched tonight as well. Amen. Amen. I don't know if, how this happened, but there's a little bit of a twisting in that knee, and sometimes it gets stiff, and when you walk, it has pain. Yes. Glory. Amen. And I send the word to your relationship and to your home and to your family. I send the word to them. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now you go home, lay your hands on that bill that was bigger than you thought it was going to be. Amen. And you put it aside on the table there. Amen. Because you can't deal with it right now. Amen. But the Lord will deal with it. I see an angel coming and he's putting the money down on that envelope. Come on, lift your hands and thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Well, oh, it is cheap. Sing wonderful cheap. Lift your hands tonight. The Spirit of the Lord is here. In my soul. For I have touched the hem is gone. And you go back whole and heal Jesus' name. Well, make me whole. I tried and I tried. To come to Jesus, I press through the crowd and touched him that day. Touch me now. I am. will every bit hold one more time. Second, oh, it is Jesus. the nation from under the big tent people are gathering to experience the fire of revival as ted shuttlesworth preaches christ's delivering power if you're being oppressed if you're dealing with depression if the devil's trying to destroy you call on the lord right now he will deliver you there's an anointing to set the captive free now for the first time, these Bible truths are available in this new book, Ministering to Those Oppressed of the Devil. Jesus said he was anointed to set the people free. Call the toll-free number and get your free copy today. 
Our toll-free number is 1-888-323-2484. Go with us into a live service where miracles are taking place. There's a woman all the way in the back. You're seated, but you have both your hands raised. All the way back there. Stand, please. Yes, ma'am. And then come down around that aisle. Donnie, that's, that's the one. Mm -hmm. Well, my soul, well, for I have touched the go to this church? Yes, sir. Have I ever prayed for you before? In the line. When you came through a prayer line. Amen. The Lord's going to help you tonight. You believe that? I preach short but sweet. The captives are going free. Exile's over. We're not going to be alone. The Lord's going to help you. You two have had an attack against relationship and the other day you asked the Lord a question you said is this how I'm going to be the rest of my life isn't that right that's all I want to say but I know what I'm seeing <laughs> well the Lord said no 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 you won't however the word of the Lord has come to you about a gifting that he gave you as a young girl that you've not fully worked in. I don't know if this is your aunt or your mother, but they used to pray over you as a little girl. Who was? My mom. Your mother. And she'd tell you, God's going to use you. And she keep encouraging you. See, that is true. That's true. And so, now God's putting a demand on the gift he gave you as a child. So you got to say yes. And you will. I do. Amen. When I pray for you, there's going to be a reworking in your bones. I don't know if you're in an accident or what I'm seeing, but I can see one bone goes out in this disc area and in your lower back. And even though you're a young person, sometimes you get stiff as a board. That is true. Beginning of crippling arthritis, the Lord's going to take it out for his glory. Someone say for his glory. Someone say what he does for one, he'll do for everyone he'll do for me then lift your hand and say Lord I receive mine because whatever yours is <laughs> he will do it I said he will do it hallelujah so in your blood the Lord has to heal that sea and sometimes that the numbers aren't quite right and the doctors told you about it That's true. and he told you this number's too high and we got to work on it or you're going to have to take a certain kind of medication to get it down. That's true. And so tonight we're going to take a Holy Ghost pill. Which one you want? Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John? One of the gospels. And so the Lord shall heal your blood. Part of this condition came from when you were a child. When as a child, sometimes these infections and problems would try to bother you, but your mother was a good nurse, and she helped you. She even had some kind of concoction she'd make. I can see her mixing it. And then she'd heat it up, and you'd drink it. That is true. But I don't think I've ever had it, because then I'd know the name of it, but I don't know the name. <laughs> what is it? A Jamaican con. I should have figured you're from Jamaica. Amen. It's a Jamaican concoction. How many have ever been to Jamaica? How many are from Jamaica? I am. I used to have an apartment there. Now I'm from there. Glory to God. I command your blood to be healed of this disease. And I command the degeneration, this arthritic condition, to come out of your lower back. Also, one of your legs, where it goes down into your leg and you feel it. I come, right? Right? 
Yes. I command it to go. Oh, there it is. The healing anointing. Take another touch. Glory. Someone say glory. Now, you're not deaf, but you have one ear that's bothering you. The Lord's going to cause that. Sometimes you think it's like blocked up or something, right? It happens. Just today it happened again. All right. Well, God's always on time. Jesus. Oh, wait a minute. You had a small hole in your eardrum when you were a child. Some, somebody put something in there f to get rid of infection. Heal it. You ever knew eardrums? This dullness of sound and hardness of hearing comes out in Jesus' name. Recreate new eardrum, new auditory nerve. Come. Open it in Christ's name. Loose the woman in Jesus' name. Clear. My voice should sound better. Yes. You can tell the difference. I command you not to lose it. Come on, lift your hands, sing it. In my soul, where for I Soto The Bible says that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. If you would like to accept Jesus Christ as your Savior today, call the toll-free number and pray with one of our anointed partners and join these that are coming to Christ. Brother Shuttlesworth would like to give you this free copy of the booklet, There's Room at the Cross. Thank you for responding. We look forward to hearing from you now. Praise God. Thanks for taking time to watch the telecast. We're on all over the world. I don't know where you're watching. You could be in Pakistan. You could be watching in Australia, the West Indies, uh, United Kingdom, wherever you're watching. You're only one prayer away from a miracle. There's a lot of uh, uh, things that we're hearing right now about the spirit of revival breaking out all over the world. If you think about it, God has been in revival since the day of Pentecost. And from the day of Pentecost to present day, there have been times in Bible school they had a fancy phrase they called the law of curiosity, that every so often there would come a stirring, a reviving. But you and I know that to be what Peter said, times of refreshing from the presence of the Lord. But the key was, it said, if you repent, then there will come times of refreshing from the presence of the Lord. And so walking with God, staying in a humble heart and attitude and repenting of anything the Spirit puts his finger on guarantees you not only a refreshing, but you can stay in revival. You can stay refreshed. You see, repentance brings revival. Revival brings refreshing. And I want to pray for every one of you today. I hold in my hand uh, hundreds of prayer requests on the uh, prayer altar here, thousands. And I want to hear from you today. While I pray, there'll be an email address where you can send your prayer requests to online. And they bring them to me. They print them out. Let's pray. Father, I release the spirit of deliverance to everyone watching. I come against sickness and disease. You foul devil, take your hands off of God's property. Loose the people. Let them go free. I command it in the name of Jesus. Then you that may not be serving the Lord, I believe with you right now that the Lord will set you free. Pray this. Say, Dear Father, come into my heart. Forgive me of my sins. I believe you raised Jesus from the dead just for me. And right now, sin's power is broken. I am free. That's it. Now give God praise. And you see there on your screen our uh, website forward slash prayer. 
Let us know you prayed that with us today. I look forward to hearing from you. Now, we have a special offer. It's absolutely free. It's in a PDF form. You can download it no matter what nation of the world because we're having trouble with our product not getting into the countries. So we're smarter than the devil. We're going to use downloads. Here it is, ministering to the oppressed. Absolutely free, a free download wherever you're at, the three keys that cause Jesus to set you free from whatever you're dealing with. And remember, I can only bring this gospel to you around the world because of you that are partners with me. Would you consider sowing a special gift today? Lord willing, I'll see you again next week. Oh, when the Savior reached down for me. Across the nation, from under the big tent, people are gathering to experience the fire of revival as Ted Shuttlesworth preaches Christ's delivering power. If you're being oppressed, if you're dealing with depression, if the devil's trying to destroy you, call on the Lord right now. He will deliver you. There's an anointing to set the captive free. Now for the first time, these Bible truths are available in this new book, Ministering to Those Oppressed of the Devil. Jesus said he was anointed to set the people free. Call the toll-free number and get your free copy today. Our toll-free number is 1-888-323-2484. Brother Ted Shuttlesworth and the entire crusade team would like to invite you to one of our upcoming 2023 crusades. And then, March 17th to the 19th, join evangelist Ted Shuttlesworth in West Palm Beach, Florida at West Palm Beach Convention Center. The Convention Center is located at 650 Okeechobee Boulevard. Joining Brother Shuttlesworth will be his son, Ted Shuttlesworth Jr., and the Faith Alive Band. Come expecting your miracle. And then, April 25th through the 28th, join evangelist Ted Shuttlesworth in Fairmont, West Virginia at Calvary Temple. The church is located at Route 19, 28 Calvary Lane. Joining Brother Shuttlesworth will be his son, Ted Shuttlesworth Jr., and the Faith Alive Band. Come expecting your miracle. Thank you for tuning in to Faith Alive. We would like to hear from you. Visit us online at tedshuttlesworth.com. You can also write Ted Shuttlesworth, P.O. Box 7, Farmington, West Virginia, 26571. Or call toll-free 1-888-323-2484. That's toll-free 1-888-323-2484.